Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. Today I'm coming to you with my friend, ta-da, it's me, Sal the Cat, and we have a tasty treat. Yep. We're going to draw a monster cheese and pepperoni pizza. Ooh. Are you ready? Uh, with anchovy? All right, let's get to drawing. All right, let's get this on. All right, let's let's deliver this pizza monster. Here we go. Yes, order some with anchovies for me, please. We're gonna start with a slight angled line. This is gonna be the bottom of our pizza, and of course, it's going to fold over on itself. Yep, extra wide. Sal, why don't we bring in a picture to help everyone see where we're going? You got it, all right, bring it on in, on down. All right, right there, that looks good. Wow. Perfect. Good. Okay, so your next line is going to be uh, kind of up straight and folds over. You could kind of see how I've done that. Yep, it's like a bad. And then I'm going to draw a straight line to establish the top of the pizza slice and the fold over. Yep. It's almost like a wave in a sense of the top is folding over the bottom part. Yeah, we have cheese and goodness. Let's draw the crust here and and the crust is going to be like a cylinder, but halfway through the crust, we want to give an opening like a cave. This will become the uh, opening of his mouth or the grumpiness that he might have. Well, who are you calling so grumpy? You can see we've, we've drawn a nice cylinder. Yep, get that cylinder down, basic volumes. And draw lightly, because you're going to come back in with darker lines. Oh yeah. All right, let's let's uh, establish this pizza box that's open and it's uh, coming over the top of them here. And you can see I started off with a horizontal line on the bottom. Yep. And now a strange looking rectangle kind of curved away. Yeah, that pizza box is like his secret lair. Okay, let's get the lid now. And everybody needs a secret hideaway. I love that idea. That was my idea. Lid's gonna come over the top there, across the back. Ooh, so ominous. And the opening of the lid. Yep. Yeah, this lid is, this, this pizza box is nothing more than a, a cube, a very slender cube on its side. So you could, you could see how we, uh, are always using these basic shapes, cubes and cylinders in our drawings. Yep, yeah. yeah, they are the basics. You really need to get good at those. Next, we're going to draw these, uh, I, I was thinking of these white plastic tables that when you open a pizza box, they put those little plastic things to keep the lid from touching the cheese. And I thought, oh yeah, well, these would, be great evil minions like little spiders. Mm, maybe I'll so hire We're gonna draw them. these with an oval. We start with an oval at the top. Yep. And it's almost like legs of a table. Ooh. Three legs in the monsters. front and one in the back. Oh, a word from our sponsor. Oh. Hey, if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe right now below so I can keep making more. You got this. The last one we're gonna draw is off to the right here. And this one you wanna make a little bit smaller so it gives a sense of depth, meaning it's a little bit further in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a bunch of those. Send them out to do my evil bidding. <laughs> Let's get some eyes in here and they're kind of creepy and scary. They're almost like pieces of pepperoni. They mean almost, they are pepperoni. So I've I've drawn like a guideline to be almost like a, a brow that hits frowning. Mean. Yep. Out for business. Now let's get some mushrooms. I thought these mushrooms reminded me of a strange looking nose. Yeah, 
They may look like a nose, but I don't care for them. Put a couple of those on here. Yeah. I'd rather go for some anchovies. But hey, what are you gonna do? If I ain't buying it, then I don't get to decide. Yeah, throw a couple more anchovy uh, mushrooms and pepperoni on that. Yeah. Get those lines in. Boy, I'm getting hungry. There's only one way to defeat a monster pizza. It's to eat it. <laughs> yep. Now let's get the thickness of the pizza, um, the edge there. So I've created a little edge. Yep. And then down, down at the crust, I'm gonna add some real nice surface lines to give us the sense that this crust is round. We use, you, we use surface lines to, uh, to show that. Yep. Yeah, those surface lines, one of those tricks that really give dimension to something. Yeah, darken the eyes now. Just darkening the eyes, trying to really give them a sense of, of weight. Yep. Now we're going to add a little, a couple puddles of, of the sauce that are dripping down. It's kind of scary. Ooh. A little bit of sauce dripping from the edge. Oh. Whoever thought you could make a monster pizza? <laughs> no, but I know I could eat one. Just indicating a little more detail, a little darker lines here and there. And that should about do it today. There's not much more to do on this one, except just go back over it, add darker lines. You've yep. kind of seen how I've colored it, and you could follow that pattern as well if you want, or, or just keep your drawing uh, nice and dark. Yep. All right, go out and get yourself a monster pizza. And Sal, do you know how you defeat a monster pizza? Yeah, I already said it. Eat it. That's right, buddy. You eat it. <laughs> okay, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right. Ciao.